I think after summer, you know, I started to realize I'm in my eighth grade, and even though I'll be staying, some other kids will be leaving. They'll be leaving the school, and so I kind of wanted to spend more time with them, you know. I was really worried and scared because I don't think that I could learn through a screen if technology goes wrong and I miss, I get late in class. This is not an easy year. I miss m my friends and going to school with them. Not wearing a mask and to just do group projects. Socially, they have less interaction than usual. Like, I can talk to them, but it's, it's different. It's not the same. I think we've come to a new appreciation of what relationship and community looks like. What's great about a challenge is that it forces you to look at better ways. Um, one of the things my students have asked me, why haven't we done this before, is eating outside for lunch. Just the, you know, just having a conversation is slower virtually with a whole group. And so it, you, I, I found that I really did have to strip it down and say, these are the most essentials. We spend so much time together that it's important that we all have, uh, you know, really good um, positive relationships and positive experiences. God is at work. That has sometimes been as simple as the students showing up to class. I really appreciate how all the teachers and staff have helped the students be able to transition onto online learning. Some days have not been easy at all, but then uh, at the end of the day, they regroup. The next day, they come up with a different plan, and they're back at it having a lot more success. In this turbulent time, I find a peace. I'm not as stressed as I was at the end of last year. And I think that comes because we have prayed for God's presence to be here on campus. When they teach, we can sense and we can hear that they like what they're doing and it's, it's what they want to be doing. To me, uh, our school is a family. I love the story of Appleton of how people wanted a school here and built it with their own hands. The community is even more than those who are directly connected to this school, if that makes sense. They, they don't have children here anymore, but yet they care about the teachers and the school. And it's very meaningful to me. I think I want my students to hear that overall, I'm really proud of them. You are not alone. If you feel like you are alone and that you're, oh man, I'm the only one struggling, you are not. 